beautiful day. Got my Bible. I'm ready to go. Do you have money? Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Zero. Zero. How much do you have? I will uh, buy 1.2. 1.2. Yes. Give me all of it. Okay, thank you, bro. Eh? I'll do the transaction. Now, wait. I'll tell you why. Yeah, yes. Because I saw you in the spirit. Oh, yes. It's as if we were standing here, but we are not in this location. Oh, yes. It's like God removed everybody from this location. Oh, yes. And I saw him standing like this. Oh, yes. And I saw health personnel around him. Oh, yes, grandfather. And he was standing like this, wearing a uniform of a health person. Yes, grandfather, it's true. I'm a nurse by profession, grandfather. This is a nurse. Oh, yes. Huh? Yes, David. You're a nurse. I'm a nurse. Right now, as I'm talking to you, there oh, is yes. limitation. Nothing is moving in your life. God taught me all the money that you have left. Give it to me. I'll do that, grandfather. I'll do that now. In a few weeks. Oh, yes. You'll be shocked. I'll do that. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, this thing requires oh, yes. revelation. <laughs> there are two ways that these scams work I'm gonna give you the two ways these scams work the first way that these scams work is that the easy simple way is that this man is a plant and he's part of the organization to which they already know everything about him and he knows what he's going to say and what he's going to do and the goal is to get everybody else caught up so that everybody else gives what everything that they have because people want that financial increase especially when you have people who are struggling to make ends meet they want the financial increase without actually trying to make some money. We're going to talk about that a little bit more later on. The other way that these scams work is all those people who are standing there working for this pastor. And hold up for a minute. The fact that he called him grandfather. Oh, hell no. But I know that this is what this pastor requires of his people. <laughs> but they have been watching this man have been noticing this man this man has probably come into church service one day immediately after work and they noticed that he had on some type of medical uniform they write it down they keep note of it then they wait for that opportunity when he's up front and he doesn't have it or they go get him and they bring him up front in order to be able to make this pastor seem like he have seen something in the spirit to identify this man as a health care worker and so the man can feel even more emotionally attached to the fact that he just told him to give him all his money then he tells him that you're going to be shocked didn't give anything precise but that he's going to be shocked he's going to be shocked all right he's going to be shocked when he get that eviction notice he's going to be shocked when that car get impounded he's going to be shocked when his woman leaves him because he can't put food in the house he's going to be shocked when he's hungry and he can't buy anything for himself if he's single Oh, he's going to be shocked in many different ways, and so will the other people in that church. And of course, they're always going to be able to fall back on the fact of saying that, well, because your faith wasn't strong enough, that's why God didn't deliver a miracle to you, didn't multiply or give you financial blessings. But guess who got some financial blessings? Granddaddy. Granddaddy got some financial blessings. Granddaddy got him another car. Granddaddy bought him some more food. Granddaddy going to take him some more flights. Granddaddy finna have him a brand new suit. Brandon Daddy gonna have him some new shoes. <laughs> I used to feel bad for these people. But if you are suckered into these types of beliefs, then that is of your own account. And I have no compassion for you. I already lack in sympathy and empathy as it is. But when it comes to that kind of stuff, stupid is as stupid does. But if you really want to make more money, Take an evaluation of what talents that you have right now. Some of the hobbies that you guys have, you can go out and put those things out into the market, whether it's making products or give, providing a service. And in your off time from your regular nine to five, you can go out and increase the amount of money that you make. If you need to go get re-educated, there are plenty of programs out there that would allow you to go and become more educated so that you can increase your value to the marketplace. If your company provides in-house learning material to make yourself more valuable to the company, you can go and take those classes and make yourself more valuable to the company and therefore align yourself to be able to get a promotion or to make a move within your company. My daughter just recently done that. And that's why she's in the IT department now instead of the dispatch department of the transportation company that she works for. You see, there are different ways that you can increase your money. 
you can buy and sell goods. You can buy goods off of Alibaba at wholesale prices and then turn them around and sell them to the marketplace, whether you're using social media or any other type of uh, platform that allows you to be able to do that. You just have to be willing to put in the work. You have to be willing to put in the time. And you have to be willing to use your money effectively. If you're not working right now on a budget, then you already aren't in the position to get those things started. So you need to get yourself on a budget. No more than 70% of what you make should be going into the necessities of your household. And then you have that 10% that you can then invest in the things or products or yourself that you can then increase the amount of money and value that you have. No matter what age you are, you can invest in an S&P fund. And over the course of the next 30 years, depending upon how much you invest on a monthly cycle, that investment can turn into hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, relative to how much time you have between now and then and how much you invest every month. See, if you want to increase, it's not going to come down because you believe in some God. If you want to increase, it's going to happen because you are wise with your money. It's going to happen because you are wise with your talent. It's going to happen because you increase your value to the marketplace. Without doing things like that, you're never going to make any more money than you're making now. Unless your company just give you a periodical raise. What makes you more valuable and what makes you worthy of that periodical raise? <sighs> fools are going to be fools. But the rich keep getting rich because the rich understand how currency works. And if you understand how currency works and value to the marketplace works, supply and demand works, you can have just as much currency as the guy next door. But until you do it, you're never going to see it. So I hope that you guys are out there. And you're utilizing your talents and you're increasing the amount of money you have. Because although money can't buy you happiness, you can be miserable in a much nicer place. Y'all have a great day. And remember always, you have to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.